I just want to put a video out there very briefly about spiritual awakening. You know, there's a bombardment. In Ireland, we call it carpet bombing, is when there's so much information, it just drowns everything out. A spiritual awakening, in my understanding and the, in my own personal experience, because that's all I have. The rest of it's just knowledge. But and something is only real and true if you can embody it and experience it yourself. So my experience of awakening is the awakening itself is a big, the remembrance is beginning to happen. You're beginning to remember that not everything is as it seems, that not everything that people say is true, that not everything you think and feel is real, that you're not a body and you're not a mind and you actually are um, a soul having an experience in this life. And so the spiritual awakening is waking up to that essence of yourself that's trying to express itself here in this realm or in other realms you may be aware of astral traveling and you've had an NDE or an OBE and all of those things when you begin to awaken and I've noticed this through a couple of years of uh, spiritual hypnosis many people who are looking for spiritual hypnosis are people who are going through the awakening process and they find it difficult because the world isn't what it seems and that's very disorientating and it can be frightening for some people, especially if it comes quite quickly. So for some people, it's gradual over a lifetime. And for some people, it's, it's it, within a day. Something can trigger them and happen on their souls like, hey, check this out. There's a lot more going on in this reality than what you're aware of. So there's the awakening, which is exhilarating and it creates within you a desire to know more. So you go on this quest, this insatiable quest for information to seek out truths that resonate for you. And then that's the rabbit holes of holes. And that's amazing and it's fun and it's time consuming and it kind of takes over. You start questioning your relationships, questioning your work, questioning this world, questioning, questioning, questioning. And then there comes this phase two. And phase two is really, it's the it's, it's what some call the shadow work. It's not a word I ever use, but it is when your traumas begin to come to the surface, when your hurts and your pains, when everything you've been avoiding begins to surface up and everything that you've been in denial about or been avoiding or have addictions or depressions, everything you've suppressed down it begins to come to the surface and this has to happen so it has to get difficult and this is why i'm making the video because there's so much information about spiritual awakening and awakening process but they don't talk about what to expect because it's different for everybody however cleaning up the internal landscape and those frequencies and the incoherent frequencies and all the programs and all the trauma and all the all of the, the ideas and concepts and paradigms, they all have to be dismantled. And when they get dismantled over a period of time, it's quick and slow depending on who you are, but it's usually a long process uh, over time because you can only deal with so much at any particular time. When you overcome a lot of those things and you start meditating and you start doing spiritual practices and you start really listening and learning how to go in, and you're cleaning up your internal landscape, then you go into phase three. Phase three of the awakening process is really becoming that. You're embodying your true self. You embody the information that you have been uh, woken up to by your own soul. And the information begins to light you up in all the right places. And so there's no more hidden places within you that you need to be afraid of or where you feel lonely or afraid or ashamed or guilt and all those things. And I've noticed this specifically as a spiritual hypnotherapist because people will come and they'll have incredible experiences, but they can only go so far if there's trauma. So the trauma has to be dealt with. And the trauma could be a belief system that you're not enough. So how can you be a co-creator? If you're not enough because in phase three you wake up to the reality that you are the creator of everything in your reality that you've created all of it you positioned all the players there all of the all of the, all of it <clears throat> so you take full accountability and responsibility for all of it there's no more blame there's no more pain now there are difficult days and difficult waves of energies that come in because you're now constantly recalibrating and recalibrating and recalibrating. And this is beautiful and it's daunting and it's exhausting and it's incredible and it's all those things all at the same time. So you may laugh and cry at the same time. That's quite common for me, was anyway. 
And so in phase three, you realize you wake up even further and waking up is remembering deeper within your own heart, soul, essence. It's not like you go out, your higher self's here, your soul's here, everything is in. So these fractals of realities are within and you know that you're a creator and that you can create any reality you want. You can create the life you want on the inside and the outside and you realize that it starts on the inside. So going and doing the work out here in this world isn't going to get you where you need to be on a spiritual level. It's going in, creating it on the inside and then it shows up. You attract it in. You don't have to work for it. You attract it in. You attract in everything that you need and you enjoy doing what you're doing and you get to work with people in a way that you could never have imagined. And, and your life changes and your ideas change and your relationships change and you realize that you, you, you were never born and you'll never die. And so when you do drop your body, you are prepared for your next phase of evolution. This is really, this is why I do what I do. Because when I leave this body, I know where I'm going. I know exactly how to get out of the loop of karma. I know those things because I've, I've spent my entire life going in and going out to find the answers. And I found a lot because <clears throat> there's not all the answers in this realm. There's only some. And so, yes, remember that with the spiritual awakening, there are phases to it. So wonderful you've had an awakening, but let's move on. So now you're beginning to wake up. So now let's get through what's coming up. Well, I feel, oh, uh, people are really annoying me. I'm very intolerant. Why are you intolerant? Because, and then you go in and you go in and you go in. And until you cleaned up, because what happens is, is you go in, you wake up, you start to remember and it's amazing and it's elation you feel love and you feel joy and you feel all these amazing things and life is incredible and then suddenly there's this like wave of sadness may come or inadequacies or trauma that's your trauma coming up and it's very very painful because you're not acting out anymore you're not using anything to escape anymore you're actually dealing with your stuff because if you keep escaping you'll never you'll never you'd be another few lifetimes or eons of time before you actually come home to yourself so know that the awakening is like a roller coaster it's just waves of you just got to learn to ride the waves you don't really master anything because it just keeps changing Everything keeps changing and that's because you're multidimensional. And so of course it keeps changing because not everything is linear. There are dimensions and worlds and realms and beings and us and we're in all of it and it's getting in touch with that. And so if you're going through a hard time, great, great. Don't give up. Ride it out and know that what's on the other side of that pain is triumph and victory. So enjoy it.